Hey guys, I'm Chris Hudson from Hudson Lighting and I'm bringing back British manufacturing right here on this channel. You're going to see machining, anodizing, powder coating, all the assembly, electronics and everything in between. You're also going to see our successes and our fouls and follow us along on the journey to hopefully end success. Let's see. Stay tuned. Thanks. Hey guys, so I am setting up uh, this lathe at the minute. It's um, basically it's broke a, broke another end mill. I think this is our last one. Uh, we need to make a few 60 degree, if I can get this open. We need to uh, yeah, create a few 60 degree tops because uh, Max has been going through all the tops and he wasn't happy with the quality. We hadn't been checking them down here properly, so that's on us. Um, so he's upstairs and he said, no, nah, these, are, these are crap. They need to, they need to, uh, go back, uh, come back, uh, be redone or whatever. So we need to get this sorted. So um, I'm just putting this one in. I need to actually check that I've got this set up deep enough. Bear with me a second. So this is one of the aluminium ones and I can just use this to, um, I'll just run the mill through and just check that essentially it clears, it comes through and it just, and it, you know, it gets through to where it needs to go because it finishes about there um, and that this clears. And I kind of want to get that as, reasonably short as I can. I think that's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to just fire that into here and then we need to um, tighten it up and get it touched off. Let me just put this back on the shelf. I need to reorganise all that shelving really. Ah, it's like kicking the bucket, yeah. Yeah, so um, so I mean these have been interesting, we've not done stainless steel to kind of like this this size and level before. Um, the closest we did was those swimming pool lights. Um, and that's about it really. I don't want to repeat of that, but the swimming pool lights were a bit of a pain to, for us to machine. And sometimes it's all about just getting all your um, speeds and feeds right really. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, yesterday I was changing over the OD turn tool and managed to lose the little insert that goes inside this that keeps the insert in place uh, so yeah can't use that at the moment so I'm on uh, we've got happened to have another OD turn tool um, so I've whacked that in there at the minute right so let's get this jogged round I'll, I'll bring you around I'll try and show you a bit of what's going on in here there we go okay so I need to get my probe in This is a Renishaw uh, probing arm. Traditionally, they've been made in the UK, but this one, when it arrived, it was stamped made in India. Um, so we literally had, you know, we had the other Nakamura in this place. If you haven't seen the other videos, basically we had another Nakamura, exactly the same, apart from the fact it had a tail stock instead of a subspindle. And it was brand new from October last year. And essentially, um, so it come with, more or less the same probing arm. This one's a bit longer to deal with the subspindle. And um, it uh, was said made in England on it all. And now, uh, this one was delivered in June. And um, now it says uh, made in India. So I guess Renishaw moved their, um, you know, moved their manufacturing to India in the last year or less, which is kind of a shame really. Um, I don't, you know, obviously they're only doing it to save cost and I don't really get that. Um, I mean, they charge a hell of a lot of money for all these, pro all this probing anyway. In fact, we've got a Renishaw rep coming over today and uh, we're going to look at 
um, options to do with um, actually probing our parts so that we can run this overnight. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. He's coming at two. Right, so that's that. That's all ready to go. So I should be able to, yeah, just basically run this now. So this, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to put NT Nurse on and just uh, make sure we put on load monitor. says load monitoring menu run yeah that's it so I can walk away and leave this now it's on monitoring so should be absolutely fine I'll go run these upstairs to uh, to the guys to see what they're up to. Uh, they're just naked. Yeah. Okay. So that's the um, path marker assembled. So we've got two meter flex. We've got some Wago two two ones on there. And um, you can see this has all been. Uh, it's got the. This has got the aluminium spike back. Um, it's laser marked with the uh, customer details on it. Um, and it's been water tested in tanks over there and um, touch, touch tested confirmed both white and red work. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It shows you a little bit of how those large path markers were actually made. We'll share other bits and pieces about the assembly and the electronics and other bits and pieces in different videos about different products. So you kind of gauge an idea of how it all goes together. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any comments, put them below. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks.